Green vegetable bugs are one of the more sporadic pests that we come across in cotton fields from time to time, but they pose real difficulties for integrated pest management. Green vegetable bugs can reach action thresholds really quickly in your crop. If you're sampling visually half a bug to the metre, or if you're using a beet sheet one bug to the metre, can signify a damaging population requiring management. The crop becomes susceptible to this pest from flowering through until late bowl opening just prior to maturity. The feeding damage is caused by both the later nymphal stages and the adults, and they generally feed on developing bowls, with young bowls frequently shedding from the plant if they're only about a week old, and older bowls developing a black shiny mark on the outside that when if you cut that bowl open you'll find a warty growth on the inside. The result of this feeding damage is often visible just prior to harvest with the bowls failing to open properly and be available to spindle picking. Sampling for green veggie bugs can be a real challenge at times because their distribution within the field can be clumped or they might be at one end of the field and not the other. The adult stage generally move into the crop from riparian areas or weedy areas. When you're moving through the crop, keep an eye out for veggie bug adults and nymphs, particularly during the early hours of the morning as they might be sunning themselves on the upper canopy. When you find green vegetable bugs on your beet sheet, take the time to examine them for pinhead sized white eggs that are evidence of Trichopoda being active in your field. The key thing when it comes to sampling green vegetable bugs is that if you see one, take the time to do some extra sampling to make sure there's not others in your field because they can be quite difficult to find. There's several reasons why they're a real difficult pest to control from an integrated pest management perspective. Firstly, they're a well-armoured insect and have very few natural enemies within the field. There are a couple of parasitoids, Trisulcus, which target the egg stage of this pest, and Trichopoda, which is a fly parasitoid, which targets the late instars and adult stages. But generally, these parasitoids serve to dampen the population of green veggie bugs across a district rather than providing in-crop biological control. One of the key difficulties with green vegetable bugs is there's no genuine soft options for the control of this pest. So when it comes to choosing a product, you really need to consider the mode of action and the length of residual that you might get out of that product, particularly if green vegetable bugs are still flying into your crop and establishing from those surrounding areas. Another consideration for choice of insecticide will depend on other pests that might be present in your field. For example, if your field had Solenopsis mealybug or silverleaf whitefly, you might choose to use a neonicotinoid based product as opposed to dimethoate. Because whilst both of these groups of products can be quite disruptive, the neonicotinoids at least would provide some suppression of these pest species as well. Where green vegetable bugs really challenge our pest management is circumstances where crops have repeat infestations of this pest, requiring repeated spraying. Under those circumstances, you can nearly expect pests such as silverleaf whitefly, Solenopsis mealybug if they're present, or even things like mites to become much more difficult to control and require more emphasis on thinking about the management of those secondary pests, particularly from a resistance management perspective. 